Okay, so obviously we've been thinking about this little speaker friend, yep. and we still have one question that we kind of posed at the end of one of our videos that we haven't answered, and that is, how in the hell can we uh, hear 40K? What's up with that? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, and, you know, we, our hearing is supposed to be 20 to 20K. Yeah, so aside <laughs> from me and my dad just being superhumans, I'm right. assuming that's probably not the answer. That's probably not the answer. Might be. No, no, I think, um, I, like I said, I used to do this. At, I used to do this, or maybe I didn't say it. Um, when I was doing seminars around the world, I brought this speaker for mm -hmm. a series of them, and I pointed them at people in the audience or in the, that attended the seminar and had them turn around and walk up. And I would say about 60 to 70% of them cringed. Some of okay. them did not, but it was the, I more, this more often than not. Um, Point. Now, keep in mind, this speaker says, don't point this at your ears for very long. It's a dangerous thing. It puts out 120 dB at 40K. So, um, you know, it might not be a good idea to sleep with that under your pillow. Well, maybe under your pillow, but not Me just going in the last video, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little loud. So, yeah, so definitely, uh, it's not a, uh, unique to you. It's definitely mm -hmm. something I... Um, I've tried mm. on quite a few people, and they um, all have m most have similar reactions. Mm. Uh, but thinking back to like, how can we hear forty k? I mean, mm. when our we, everything we're told is that our sound is this bookended at twenty to twenty k. Mm. Humans hear from twenty to twenty k. Now, mm. the first thing that comes to mind when I hear anything that says these are steadfast rules with hard ends, so that's probably not is true. that's probably not true. Um, you know, you, nothing, there's nothing in life that's true. There's nothing that's truly... Sounds like a steadfast end to me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> nothing in life is true. Nothing in life is true. Yeah, there you go. Um, even the tide, you know, it's like, yeah. where, where does the ocean yeah. end and the land begin? So start thinking about perception. Like what's the lowest frequency we can perceive? Mm -hmm. Um what is mm. the frequency like um what's the frequency of an earthquake do you know mm, i mm -mm. know mm -mm. Well, Tell earthquakes are like i believe they're like 50 somewhere in the range of 58 minute 58 minute 58 minutes. So we do like cycles per second. Oh. One cycle takes 50 min no 58 oh. minutes for one is on the low side. And then they go up to like 20 hertz or above, so they can go higher. But most of them are in the 0.1 to one hertz. Crazy how the world is all just actually waves. Right? <laughs> so 0.1 to one, so a 10th of a, a hertz to, so that means every 10 seconds, there's one cycle, That's one of those. Insane. and Or one cycle per second. Now, can you perceive earthquakes? Yeah. Hell yeah. So you can not hear it, but you can, you can perceive, perceive it. it. So yeah. hearing is yeah. the key here. Now, and then we can think about that with this too, of like, there is an auditory aspect, but that kind of thing that's making it, your- It's not really hearing, range. it's a perception. So yeah. maybe you're not hearing, you're definitely not hearing, or you might not be hearing uh -huh. for 40K, but you're perceiving yeah. it. And there were uh -huh. two different senses too, like the that's one right. here with the ear, uh -huh. that we could hear with the high pitch thing, but then this one where it was just like, it was almost like a- yeah. And the one you're hearing could be, it's like the drain pipe leaning against the, the oh, where yeah. it's wiggling your eardrum and you're getting so ancillary maybe, overload frequencies. That's re representing itself that, in that, a that really you're high hear, You're tone. hearing something. You're not hearing the 40K directly. You're hearing a ramification. So is that the answer you're giving me? Um, not quite not yet. done yet. I'll give you more. Um, okay, so if we keep moving up from the earth, you know, having a very low res, there's a... There's a Schumann frequency, which I believe is 7.83 hertz, Mr. which Schumann. is the electromagnetic resonance of the planet Earth. Um, not, I, I believe it can change a bit, but that's 7.83. It's a fairly low. How did they figure that out? Um, I don't know. Schumann did it, though. Schumann, <laughs> Mr. Schumann. Schumann, how did um, you do this? What else do we got? So Okay, so we keep going up. The next set of frequencies that we experience... Um, Waves, I surf a lot. Um, waves have a time period. Mm -hmm. And typically waves that suck are in the six to 10 second range, <laughs> six to eight second range. 
Mm -hmm. And that's six, uh, uh, you know, six seconds per one hertz. And the waves are a cycle. There's a peak yeah. and a valley. Yeah. And the waves that are great are in this 14 to 16, 14 to 18 second range. Mm -hmm. okay. So they're much longer wavelengths. We like to surf on the very low frequency waves. Uh, how do waves get frequencies? There's big storms, makes a big mess. It's like pink noise in the water. Mm -hmm. If the storm is really far away, like a rock concert really far away, only the low frequencies you get to it. the neighboring communities. So you want the storm and we that want far the away. we want the concert far away, and yeah. we just want to feel the low frequency. After all, the distance of water that the waves have traveled acts like a low pass filter. Yeah, and gets rid of all the high frequency <laughs> waves that make it Which messy. Are all choppy, right? Uh huh. And leave the nice low notes, mm -hmm. which is what we want to surf on. Mm -hmm. So that's that gets us into the eight. your whole life is waves, Dad. It is. That's why I love it so much. <laughs> and then um, then we get into sound, 20 to 20K, mm -hmm. perceived by our ears. Mm -hmm. Then over 20K, we get into this stuff that different animals can hear, different sets, but mm -hmm. still auditory. Mm -hmm. um, continuing up into the 100K region, we start to get into frequencies that can be used for transmission, like... Uh -huh. Uh, 500 is, uh, is what we talked about, uh, we've talked about is um, AM radio, mm -hmm. like 540 to 1080, which is a million, 540K to a mm -hmm. million uh, um, to 1040, 1080. Um, then you got more, a bunch of radio stuff that isn't accessible in this country, mm -hmm. you know, military bands. And mm -hmm. you get up out of the 1 million, which is AM radio here, up to the 88 million, 88 megahertz, which is FM radio. Mm -hmm. okay. And that goes up to, um, what's the high end of FM radio? 106, 108, maybe 108. 108.8. There you go. 88, 100 million to, then we go up to, after FM radio, we're going to get up to... God, what's next? Infrared light? Infrared um, light? You start getting up into heat? I think it's like... Like, how is that even... Um, 300... So radio waves go up to like 300 gigahertz? Okay. Million, million? Or thousand million? Listen, I majored in And then you English. get up... And then you start to see it. Right, mm -hmm. so we get an infrared below what we can see, and then we get up into visible light. Yeah. Then we go into ultraviolet light, which is in the terahertz, mm -hmm. and then we go out of ultraviolet light into U, um, U X rays. Okay, and then we get into gamma rays, and then we get into cosmic rays, and somewhere oh, where there's microwaves are in there, right below visible light. Yeah. So if you just look Take at the friend. spectrum, there's just all of these different waves. Mm -hmm. Now. We're able to perceive visible light, which is in the terahertz, mm -hmm. and we're able to perceive earthquakes, which is in the 0.1 hertz, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're able to perceive 20 to 20K. What are the odds that we have perceptions on some holes in between? <laughs> no, it's absolutely only those. no way it can't happen. It's only no, those it's ones. absolutely not. Yeah. There's no way in heck. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, side. we can perceive heat, and infrared yeah. light presents heat, so we can definitely yeah. see, perceive stuff below. Mm, 40K, though, we can't do that one. I can't do that one. No, I just think it's interesting just to kind of put all of this yeah. together. The whole there's, world is waves. Or energy that has yeah. frequency related to it. And there's all these energies and we have perceptive means through our feet and body and ears and and eyes and sensors. We have different senses. I wonder if smell has a frequency. I don't think it is. I don't think it does either. I don't think that one's a frequency. <laughs> All right. Well, that was my fun yeah. thought for today. Yeah. Um, this would have been really helpful when I was taking phonetics. <laughs> Why is that? Um, we just, phonetics studies the, um, like how we make sounds and sounds in general. Uh -huh. um, what makes a T a T and a P a P. Right. And we also. I know that. I know that. Yeah, you probably... There's a little curved part in the front. No, you also <laughs> know what makes a T-O-T and a P-O-P because I've explained it to this you before. This is true, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, how the mouth creates those things, but also getting into ears and how ears are able to understand these things and that our brains are able to... What, what, how can we actually understand a difference between a P and a B? They're not very diff like different sounds. Um, and the answer kind of becomes context but thinking about ears and those themselves being like little frequency picker uppers and all of this stuff and frequency producers is all stuff that is 
stuff I studied that's very cool. That's really <laughs> and this cool. Also is like another, well, another it's the same angle. side of it, but you're another use angle. Your, you're going to use your sound um, skills to help with your... Speech pathology? Yes. I'm sure. That's good. Yeah. It's very, it's very put useful. Put those two things together? Yes. Hopefully. That's Hopefully. the goal. <laughs> All right. Wait. Cheers. Thanks for joining, Sam. Yeah, of course. Thanks cool. for teaching me about fun, about how the world is all waves, except for smell. Snow and snow. snow. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one was good. Okay. <laughs>